1.3. So there we go. This is the central core layer. It's comprised of neodymium mainly and a few other trace elements. It weighs and approximately 1.3 ounces. Each layer has to weigh the same amount too. So as each layer expands depending on the material, as uh, according to the law of the squares, each layer must weigh exactly the same. Okay, so I went ahead and polished this magnet. This was almost double the size. I did both sides with diamond grinding bits. Yeah, that's right. Polished it and cut into it. Cut into it? Oh, you can't cut into it. Yeah, actually you can. Done. So, the Teflon fits in here. And here's the jig for doing the outside because I need to cut this down to probably about 3 16 to an eighth inch thick. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. Like this, very, very snug, because I do not want playroom. This goes on top. And the in-between layers, double-sided tape. I've got the magnet ground out, yes, ground out, um, using diamond bits and diamond polishing equipment. You can polish a magnet. Many people say it's impossible. What do they know? I just did it. This was a speaker magnet and it took about a couple hours to get it going. But it's in the right diameter for the Teflon to go in. It's freaking small. There's my hand. In each roller, it's only a quarter inch thick and half inch tall. So, yeah, small. And if it really worked, you could probably fly with it. <laughs> now I do plan eventually to possibly have this one wired just to circle. Uh, it does have the neodymium core, real Teflon, ceramic magnet, and your copper layer, or plates as John likes to call them. These, each layer is weighed precisely to the same weight. This one's 34 grams, 34 grams, 34 grams, and 34 grams. Uh, totaling, uh, totaling out to be the same weight across the whole, the whole unit. So each layer is the same as uh, prescribed in the SCG. So, let's film. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And as you can see, details of the ferrite that it wasn't perfectly formed. I ran into some trouble when I got it so darn thin. It's only about a uh, less than 3 16 thick and a half inch tall. I started to lose the uh, cohesiveness and chatter. The rollers were not a problem because I bought them uh, all pre made the right sizes. And inside they're all layered. There's eight segments in there. I didn't bother cutting the copper, I just you know, roughed it on the outside stuck in the insides, but this plastic layer is Teflon. It's a really pre-made Teflon that worked. I will be doing more updates and building more SCG prototypes, so for more news and more inventions, click right there to subscribe and keep abreast on my channel of what's going on.